Now at 530, South Florida sees its fair share of flooding, and after years of waiting, some of the worst affected neighborhoods from flooding will finally see the largest stormwater project begin in Fort Lauderdale. This multi-million dollar project is designed to help fight the flooding and rising sea levels we often see in these areas. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn joins us live from Fort Lauderdale with details. Jacqueline. Elliot, this neighborhood, this area here gets a really, really a lot of bad flooding. In fact, just so you know where we are, this is near Southwest 12th Avenue and Southwest 29th. And so there is this effort now to essentially install these drains to help with the flooding around here to protect some of these homes and the buildings around here, hopefully so that they can stay dry. This is video in 2020 from Abigail Laney, a resident who's grown up here the past 18 years. Flooded basically up to like my shins. I'm taller now. When I was little, it was like higher, but it flooded basically up to my shins all the way up the whole street. When it rains, it sometimes pours right into homes in the Edgewood neighborhood of Fort Lauderdale. It basically means you're done for. Like you have to get everything off the floor and then it takes a while because like the insurance and then you have to rip the floors out and the drywall to a certain level so mold won't get in there. It's a similar reality for dozens of families in the area when a bad storm passes. Even St. Jerome's Catholic School has had to close down back during an event we covered Halloween 2011. And things just about come to a standstill until the water goes down. Three, two, one, yeah! <laughs> But after a decade's worth of planning, the city has come up with a $25 million solution to people in the Edgewood and River Oaks neighborhoods. So we, we are issue, uh, issuing bonds to pay for this. The largest stormwater project in Fort Lauderdale history will add five miles of piping, more drains, and a pump that will pull water to the River Oaks Preserve. We will be looking to reduce the intensity, duration, and frequency of major flooding events throughout these neighborhoods. It's also hoped this project will mitigate issues with sea level rise. Whatever they're going to do, I hope it just makes it stop flooding so fast. So this project is supposed to take three years. They're going to do this in phases. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.